Britney. Hey. Okay. What's going on, guys? How's it going? What's up? How are you guys doing? Not too bad. How about you? Are you guys Canadian? Yeah, we're from Ottawa. I knew it. I knew it by the tone of your voice, how you said not too bad. Is that weird? We all talk the same. Everyone yes. from Ottawa and like Ontario. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. What did you guys do today? We both worked. Nice. You, cool, you cool, cool. A one piece, right? Yeah, let's go, baby. That's a Were you yeah, already wearing that? You just throw that on because you love it. <laughs> just threw it on. Yeah. Let's go. Two onesies. <laughs> the onesie boys are back in town. Let's yeah. go. Two Canadian onesie boys. You have to convince him to come and see your tour with me. When it's available. <laughs> when it's available. I mean, I think we should just focus on getting out yeah. of this damn quarantine for now. Yeah. I've been trying to convince Nicholas since tickets went on sale. Nicholas, come, come on, on. Nick. I'm sorry, man. Uh, you, you do great things for her. Uh, <laughs> just, just not, not, not my, not my thing. I like it. Hey, well, you know what? Maybe. Uh, what, what's um? What's your favorite kind of music? What do you What do you enjoy listening to? Uh, electronic usually. Nice. Yeah. Have you heard my song? I know it's not probably like your style, but did you ever hear the song uh, Where Are You Now with Diplo yes. and Skrillex? It's Do you like sense. Diplo and Skrillex? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you like Diplo and Skrillex or no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I've well, I seen guess, I, I guess I guess that's kind of like electronic music. I've dibbled and dabbled, yeah. but... You're right, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more kind of pop music, so it's not, it isn't for everybody, but... I'll tell you this much, if you come to one of my shows, it's definitely a fun time, regardless if you like the See? music or not, it's just good vibes. You, he, now we can't say Have no. you ever been to like, have you, you, guys, you ever heard of like Fish or anything like that? Fish? You ever heard of the band Fish? No. No. Okay, well, have you ever been to like, I don't know, do you ever go to like, I'm just trying to put it in perspective. I guess, you know, there's, there's this band Fish, which is like this, like... You know, um, hippie kind of vibe. The one that Dan's vibe. always going to? Pardon? The one that Dan's always going to? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's not really my style, and I don't really dig it, but I went with him for the experience. Fair. And you get, to kind of, you get to kind of go into somebody else's world, and you can kind of, like, take a piece. And, what, you know, it's just if you're with your friends and you're having a good time, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just saying. Maybe you <laughs> no, we're fun. going. Hey, you know what you you know what you would enjoy? Do you like light shows and like? Do you like light shows and stuff like that? Like, like uh, I just like being in a place where there's like crazy lights. Yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. My show is like a. It's like a. You know whether you like the music or not. It's like an. It's an entertain. It's like just entertainment. So there's like, I have these people who like have done lights for like, you know, the craziest bands in the world and they come in and they, you know, do these crazy light shows. So you can just not even listen to my music and just come and watch the lights. I'm telling you, I've been eight times and you're not <laughs> gonna hate it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like each each person is kind of like an artist. Like you got the lights who are there like Exactly. And I have a band. I have a way. band and you can focus on, you know, things that you enjoy, whether I mean I'm sure you like bands and drummers, and yeah, I have a sick yeah. drummer, sick guitar player. You can just kind of like, you know, find what you enjoy. But I'll tell you, when I go back on tour, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's always yeah, it's I always like a celebration. It. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Well, um, it's nice to meet you guys, and hopefully, I helped you uh, convince them a little bit. Whoa, well, well, we'll be going. Oh, so you have to <laughs> say hi to our puppy Bean first. Hey, puppy. Hey, Bean. Look. Hey, bud. Hi. <laughs> all right What's up, dude? all right guys well, it was nice to meet you bye stay safe take Thank care you. guys yep bye bye go leafs go what do we got for dinner cooking up <gasps>
Shepherd. Oh my Hi. God. Nice. What's going on? Hey, how are how you? How are you? I'm good. Thank where you. Where are you from? Where are you from? Um, I'm in Australia. Australia. But but where are you from? Philippines. Philippines, but you're living in Australia now. Yeah, um, have been here since 2011. Since 2011, do you like it there? Yeah, yeah I love it here. Ooh, it's what really brought nice. you to, What brought you to Australia? Um, just work, and I just wanted to kind of leave. <laughs> Got you. Got yeah. Do you have any family out there or friends out there? Um, my sister lives here. Oh my god, she's gonna freak out when I tell her. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you are you with your lives, sister? Um, no, she lives in a different suburb, but she's Got like you. pretty close. So it's just you and your sister out there. Sorry. What about your parents? Um, uh, my parents are in the Philippines. They're retired. Got you, and they like it there. Yeah. Um, I'll show you my dog. She's asleep right now. She's a greyhound. What, what kind of dog is it? Ooh, she sleeps with her eyes open. That's weird. No, no, no. She's a, she just woke up because I woke. Oh god! I went. Um, if she yeah. slept like that, um, I was gonna I was gonna say you yeah. had a demonic dog. <laughs> no, but she does sleep with her eyes open sometimes, because she's yeah. like we only got her before Christmas, Dang. and she's very like cautious. Yeah, about she us. like this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. How's well, it going um, there? What, uh, what did you say your name was? Isa. Isa. Nice. Yes. That's a pretty name. Well, I hope I hope to see you, um, you in Australia when I come. Yeah. Um. Have you been the last nine years? I was thinking about it. I think so. Yeah, been. I have. Yes. I've definitely been there in the last nine years. Um. I've been there a couple times actually. I don't know okay. if I I don't remember the last time I was there for tour, but I remember I was there a few times to go to a conference with some people. Oh, all right. Well yeah. yeah, I hope to come back. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, all well right. have a have a good rest of your night and uh um enjoy quarantine as much as possible. <laughs> Thank you, you too. All right, take care. What's up? Is Yo. This Ned? What's going on? Oh my goodness. I've been trying to get on for the longest time. What's your name? This Manny? My name's Manny, yeah. Cool. Where are you from? I'm from LA. Cool. What are you, you born and raised in LA? Yeah, yeah, born nice. and raised in LA. Working from home. I cannot believe this is happening. Cool. Hey. What do you like to do for fun? I like to play ball. I miss playing nice. ball. It's beaver. I miss playing ball. Damn. Oh Damn. God. Is that your friend, your sister, your wife? What's going on? Hi. That's my that's my wife. What's going on, wifey? Hello. How are you guys? Yo, so Bieber. Tell me the story. We're good. How'd We're you guys to... meet? We met on the beach at a bonfire. We have that's mutual romantic. friends. Yeah, yeah. We were in like the Long Beach area. We went to a bonfire. We met there. We had mutual friends. I saw her and she was eating a bag of hot Cheetos. And I was like, yo, like this girl's pretty chill. And then we actually started like dancing that night. We had a DJ there. Like, was it the hot Cheetos that really got you? Yeah, it just attracted to me. You know, I was like, it was man, like she can, she can eat. And then after she wanted to get in and out too. And I was like, man, this is it. Did she eat off your plate? Cause that's a no, no. No, nah, she didn't. She didn't. Yeah, to this good. day, to this day, I tell her, like, you have to get your own fries. Like, I will not share my you fries. You can't share. You can't take food off, off your plate. It doesn't happen. It doesn't work. It doesn't. She's a big doesn't Friends work. fan, too, so she understands, like, like Joey you know doesn't share food. 
<laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's so, right. yeah, we're just here. We're working from home for the last four, I mean, a month now. Cool. I got the All sickest. Right. Let me show you something. I got the sickest hoodie today that came in and I'm like obsessed with it. And I know you've been like rocking PJs and hoodies all like your quarantine. So check this. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I saw LeBron James with this and they released it the other day. Look at this. Let me see. What is it? Un the uninterrupted hoodie. Huh. Let me see. It's pretty dope. LeBron James, people, he wore it the other day and I had a cop in. I was like, I got to show Biebs, you know? Damn, I love it. It looks tight, man. How, you gotta how's get up? Some, you got to get some Drew House gear. I need it. Where, where, do, we, where do I even purchase that? I've you got to get it on their website. Is there, is it like all sold out or do you have like drops every now and then? Cause I know. Yeah, it just drops. Time. We just do drops randomly. Like we don't really tell anybody when we do drops and we just drop it and then it just pretty much sells out. So, I mean, you'd have to like, you know, you kind of have to get like an insight. We, we tell, we like announce it on the Instagram on like Drew House's Instagram, like day of. So. Yeah. Damn. I need to get on that. I need to set up like updates then to get alerts. Cause I've seen those. I need those slippers. Those slippers are fire. Yeah, the slippers are fire. They're comfy. You want to see? I think there's oh a pair God. here, if I remember. The slippers are fire. The the hoodie is fire. Yeah. I need those. I need those in my life. Do you have them on PF Flyers, too? Uh, I think I think my uh, one of my assistants threw on a patch on just one of my pairs of PF Flyers. That's dope. Hey, have you been learning anything new while in quarantine? Um, I learned that, um, what have I learned in quarantine? Huh. Um, I remember someone just said something the other day and I was like, oh, I, I, I learned something new every day. I don't know, man. What do you, what are you learning in quarantine? So I told myself, you know, I gotta, I gotta learn something. I gotta do something I've been wanting to do. So I'm a one, I'm a videographer on the side. So I've been like editing like videos like crazy. And cool. at the same time, I've been, I love music. So I, I started DJing at my house. Nice. So I've been like spending the time learning how to DJ, how to master Ooh. like beat matching, Ooh. all that stuff. It's been fun. That's exciting. That's fun stuff, bro. Good, good, good job. Way to, yeah. be, way to be productive in this time. Cause a lot of people are taking this and they're not being productive. Yeah, you know, the first couple of days was super hard, honestly. It was, like, rough. Like, it was just weird to get into this new routine. But yeah. once you kind of, like, accepted it. And we're, in of, like, like, we're in, like, we're in, like, a a creative lockdown. Like, I mean, to a lot of people who are creative, I mean, this is, like, heaven. Because you just, you can just, you know, you have all this time dedicated to just be, do your art and create what you want to create. And all the things that you, like been not you know like putting off for so long you can actually get to it you know what i mean yeah i totally agree i totally agree i feel like i feel like people that weren't creative though are even coming out of this thinking like the, like something's like brewing up in them thinking like i need to learn something new i need to i need a this is my chance so it's like kind of like a good thing that this is happening for for everyone I mean, way, there's always, you can always take the good out of a bad situation. Obviously, it's a, it, you know, there's people who are really suffering and, and there's people yeah. who, are, who, who, have, who have passed on. And so obviously this isn't good in any means, but there's, there's definitely good you can take out of it for sure. Exactly. There you go. There you go. You worded, you worded a lot better than I did. I, I mean, I've had to learn over the years because everything I say gets twisted. You know, if I were yeah. to say, if I said what you just said. Yeah, people would true. say Justin just said that it's good that we're all in quarantine or that people are you know passing on and da da da, and then I'd be you know what I mean. So I I kind of had to be really careful with how I word stuff, you know. Yeah, no, I feel you. That that's crazy too. That just because of the different you know structures and where you're at, like words can be twisted and seem so much worse. But yeah, because I absolutely because I, I, I know what you, you meant. I knew you didn't. Yeah. Exactly. I knew that you didn't mean that, you know, that, that this is good when things bad are happening, but people just, anything they can do to kind of like, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Oh. You, you, felt, you felt it for sure. That's yeah. dope, man. That's, this, this is super cool that you're spending the time that 
uh, reaching out to others as well, man, because it's like Thanks, it shows man. the kind of person you are as well. I appreciate um, I've been listening to your music, man, for a long, long time, a long time. So your new album is fire. Bye. Thanks, man. Well, I appreciate that. And we're working on something really special right now, too. So be ready when, when this is all, you know, hopefully when this uh, calms down a little bit, you know, we'll be able to you know, release some new stuff and, and go on tour eventually. So I'm, I'm excited for that, bro. So it's nice to meet you, man. And uh, good luck with your marriage and everything. And um, best wishes, bro, in this time. Thanks, man. Thanks for answering and having a quick conversation with me. Absolutely, fun. man. Hey, good, good, good luck with all your music stuff, and um, yeah, we hope the best for you. Wish the best for you. Thanks, man. I'll see you. I'll see you when you come by. All right, man. All right, man. Peace. Peace.